Hey, I'm Tim, and today we're gonna do a review of the Hyper Tough Push Lawnmower found at Walmart. Let's do it. All right, so quick little rundown. Needed a new lawnmower. I didn't have a lot of money because I just recently moved, so I needed something that was cheap, but to get the job done. So, what did I get? Got the Hyper Tough edition from Walmart of a push more. Pretty simple, not bad. Let's go, let's ch check it out. All right, so I've been using this for about the last, uh, about two, three months now. And so far, so good. Obviously, this is the Hyper Tough edition by Walmart. It's got a Briggs & Stratton 300 Echo Series engine. It is gasoline operated, so just your normal, typical unleaded gasoline. And of course, you gotta go ahead and fill up your oil as well in it. Pretty simple to operate, not too much craziness. All right, so like I was saying, pretty simple to operate, nothing too crazy, nothing different from what you see in your standards more, but just in case you don't know, press the primer down at the bottom by the engine, prime the fuel, make sure there's fuel in it too. Hold the handle down, reach down, grab your handy dandy cord right here, and pull. Couple other little features on this is you got five adjustables right here so you can go ahead and bring that lawnmower down to the lowest setting you got one on each wheel and you got your nice little backstop right here so nothing comes flying back at you from the rear end gets you a little plastic guard right here overall not a bad lawnmower engines made in the USA so you can't complain about that this is pretty much gonna get you done for a nice small smaller size yard. This is gonna do the trick for you. Enough of me talking about it. Let's go ahead and see how it works. All right, so hopefully you can see the lighting's good enough, but that's cutting the grass on the lowest absolute setting. It does a pretty good job all the way through. I'm not very upset with it, and it does a good job of maintaining that, that lawn. Okay, so let's talk about maintenance real quick. All right, standard maintenance, pretty much just keeping everything uh, clean for the most part on the outside. Changing your oil when you need to appropriately according to the manufacturer's details and of course Making sure you got all your safety stuff. So make sure that this is here and intact If it's not stuff can come flying out at you You don't want that and also make sure you got this brush guard right here So that way it keeps anything from flying back up at you beyond that uh, Some typical maintenance that I do do to it is I will get down in here and physically clean out all this gunk and all this stuff you see on the blades there's your blades right there so overall pretty easy to take care of nothing too crazy nothing too complicated and oh hey plants are starting to come in really really nice love it but yeah like I was saying nothing too overly complicated nothing too crazy hopefully this was a uh, good insight for y'all pay our specs real quick Oh, glory. Looking beautiful. Okay, so all in all, not a bad lawnmower at all for the price. Just remember to keep up with your maintenance. Check out those manufacturer details in the manual. You should be straight. Also, remember this is a normal gasoline push mower, so you are going to have to get some gas. So if you don't have a gas can already, you're going to need to get a gas can, and you're going to need to put oil in it and regularly change the oil according to what the manufacturer says. I mean, most of the time though, Honestly, these things go on for a really long time without having to change oil. So if that's one of your worries, I wouldn't even worry about it. This is the oil that I did use for it. Normal four cycle order oil found at Walmart. It does come with some oil already uh, in the package, in the box. And speaking of the box, that was one of the things I really, really enjoyed about this lawnmower was that it came fully assembled. There was no screwing, no nothing. I didn't have to do anything. All I did was pop it out of the box 
change out the, uh, uh, just literally lift up on some stuff, and that was it. It was pretty good, ready to use straight out of the box. So, hey, it's always nice when you can do something like that. Hopefully this was an informational video for you. Really enjoyed it. And once again, I wanna thank everybody who watched, liked, and subscribed from the last video I did on that hyper tough weed eater. If you haven't seen it and you were thinking about getting a weed eater, go ahead and check it out. But thank you again very much. Hope you all have a great one. Artillery Fishing, out.